Hello everyone! I hope you're doing okay and I hope that we all now got the memo, I think I was the last one, <laughs> to when we've liked and subscribed to the channel and liked the videos, we click the little bell in the corner somewhere um, and it tells you when I upload a video. Who'd have known? What a revelation. Okay, so my next guest. I'm super excited for you to view this interview. This lady is so incredibly talented and you'll have all seen her work on the television somewhere. <laughs> Please welcome my next special guest, the incredibly talented and wonderfully lovely Tamla Carey. Take a listen. <laughs> okay, so my first question for you is, can you remember what sparked your interest in performing? Um, I can. Um, I used to dance first um before I did any acting kind of things um yeah I started dancing at like a local dance school when I was about four mm -hmm. um, and that was because um <laughs> my mum my mum took me because if there was anything on the telly like care, like Care Bears I seem to like to watch but I'd dance to the theme tune and then I'd just get bored so she's like hmm I'll just take <laughs> her dancing <laughs> um so yeah, and that's that's what sparked it really. Um, yeah. And then the acting came from being a member of like a youth theatre, local youth theatre. Um, that it was like an Irish group, um, mm -hmm. and for like uh, kids who had Irish background, whether it was first, second generation, third, um, and uh, yeah, and that's where my sort of uh, acting bog sort of got picked up um, and yeah. but it very much dancing overruled everything really and yeah. I did did that up until I left to come down to London to college so um yeah uh yeah so that was it yeah the age of 20 I danced up until the age of 20. Wow oh my gosh so one of my questions actually was going to be um if there was anything a job came up in musical theatre would you take it do uh, you dance um, I, if, yeah, I mean, I, we, luckily for me in my drama school that I went to, we'd have ballet classes every week, okay. which was amazing because I was really upset about having to leave yeah. the dancing behind. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like musical theatre, I, I actually auditioned when I, my first round of auditions when I was like, oh, I would have been 17. Yeah. Um, were for musical theatre courses because I I wanted to dance still. It wasn't necessarily because I had like a, a love for musical theatre. I had really had no experience of musical theatre at all, but I just wanted to carry on dancing. Yeah. Um, but then when I when I was at these auditions, um, it became very apparent that a lot of the people auditioning there had had intense vocal training yep. from probably before they could even speak um it was a I was very uh shocked or very naive I could I could not get over the level of like their voices and I was just like okay <laughs> it's like I can sing a song but that's like different level yeah um so I was, funnily enough, I didn't get in. Um, I got, I mean, I got a recall for Guildford, okay. um, which, I mean, still to this day, I was like, how? <laughs> um, but I did. Um, but I didn't get in. And I, to be honest, I was so glad because I, that's just, I, I just don't, I, I'm just not like my dancing, I can dance, but you know again not to that kind of level again sing not to that kind of level it's just not no so if I, if I got given a job in musical theatre I'd be very very shocked <laughs> if I actually got it so yeah. if I got the job then yeah but I don't think I'd get it <laughs> so um <laughs> really, uh, uh, yeah but oh, they're literal, like they're yeah. they're like athletes musical theatre performers Mm, yeah be able to hold a tune and 
dance at the same time. I oh, know. So, I can't even walk up a flight of stairs and have a conversation. So. <laughs> so that's a no-go. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you were growing up, you said you loved dancing. So your goal was never to be an actress then? No. I I wanted to act, but it came late. Like, I'm, I'm not one of these people that can turn around and go, oh, it's something I've always wanted to do. Like, yeah. that's a lie. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Okay. That was That was the point. I didn't know what yeah. I was doing. Um, I, I knew that I, I liked it. I knew that I was good at it. Yeah. So it it was a thing of like I I know I'll do I'll do my A levels I'll stay on at school and I'll do my A levels and I'll do drama and theatre studies but I'll also do other things that I'm good at which was biology and um, French at the time but. <laughs> Turns out I actually wasn't very good at French. Um, <laughs> um, there is a big difference from GCSE to A level. Mm. Big difference. Um, and so I, I wanted to keep my options open. And then I I just went for it. I was like, I kind of weighed it up. I was like, do I want to maybe go down a sort of biology, university, biology route? Yeah end up working in a lab forever it was like did you know I found it very interesting yeah but I was like I'm not sure that's me mm. um and I thought well you know I enjoy I enjoy performing it's the only time that I actually felt confident really was on a stage which was which is odd it is yeah <laughs> shy I am quite shy um well not shy, shy is the wrong word but just not um I, uh, I still struggle with it now as you can tell because I can't speak like to um uh, express myself uh, yeah. vocally and things like that yeah struggle to um uh, like what you feel yeah and also um in like big groups and things like that I'm okay one-on-one -on -one, but I get quite intimidated by like lots of people or any sort of like networky type thing I'm like oh um but if I was dancing in particular on stage I'd feel great yeah um so uh yeah that's why I I went for it and I I didn't get in first, like like I say, I did musical theatre auditions, and but that was good. I was really glad because I was like, okay, this isn't for me. Yeah. I, I, I seemingly am better at acting than I am at the other things. So um, I carried on. And then again, I didn't get in. And then it was my third year of auditioning. So uh, I went, I, I finally ended up coming down when I was 20. Yeah. which is so much better because I think if I'd come to London when I was 18 I wouldn't have lasted two seconds yeah yeah. I'd have same. Same. yeah I was exactly the same I'm from such a small place and um you know you're such a big fish in such a small pond and you go to London and it's just terrifying yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was exactly the same I was 20 when I went and it was yeah way better than if I'd have gone 18 I'd have just crumbled I'd have literally just yeah. crumbled I mean I was two weeks into my drama school course I was in the principal's office bawling my head off going I want to go home yeah. she's like no darling no, <laughs> you can't <laughs> okay <laughs> thank god yeah god. yeah of course absolutely so can you remember your first professional role yes um I was insanely lucky I got my first job when I was still training wow. um, in the In Between Us movie, and um, I was allowed to take off my second term of my final year to go and film, um, fly, um, to go and film, and then I went to Magaluf, filmed the In Between Us movie. <laughs> 
and then came back to college to complete my third term wow. and so I was able to graduate still so I was marked I got my marks on my on, on the Inbetweeners movie which is hilarious <laughs> and I got a distinction so yeah <laughs> it's actually quality <laughs> yes that is that is what I got to say on. <laughs> very very funny they had to go into before it was released a couple of my teachers had to go into like the edit suite and go and watch my scenes with Simon <laughs> that is that is comical that is comical so um the whole acting bug have you ever had a kind of inkling or a desire to do directing or is it just not your thing um I would for me I would love to do it but I don't think I'm capable of doing it so I I could I can watch people do scenes or speeches like individual like little snippets of stuff yeah. I'm able to kind of work with them acting wise and whatnot so, like sometimes I go into my mum's school my mum's a drama teacher and sometimes I go in and um and I help like her GCSE students or something on their on their scenes that they have to be assessed on yeah um and and it's weird because I when I when I watch it and it, it's something that I really struggled with when I was trying to like do speeches for drama school and stuff of separating myself and thinking getting really self-conscious but the person watching you do the speech you don't you just watch the speech and that you, you're not do you know what I'm trying to say so what's like what it's made me realize is that um I can I can do that and I actually I do know things it's like sometimes like yeah. I've been out of drama school for nine years and I'm like oh I can't remember how to do anything I don't know how to act I don't know how to work on a script oh um and I do I and things go like, oh actually I do have some skills <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um and so I, I can do that but if someone said here's a play yeah direct it I'd go Whoa, no I'd become really overwhelmed yeah so I, I it's not something I would go no I don't want to do it I feel like I would love to do it but I just yeah. don't have the confidence that I could do that yeah it, it's just breaking it down I think um it is quite daunting when you're given something and you go okay somebody says you've got to direct it it's like uh where do I start yeah. but I I guess like it's very similar to when you're given a character you know if you're told like you've got to do this play or this this show and you've got to do it and this is what you know what you've got to do you're like hang on what I don't know but if you break it down into you know well who am I playing and what is their story and so it's kind of like very very similar to that I guess you know trying not to be overwhelmed by it because otherwise you think yeah no I'm going <laughs> I'm going home <laughs> I the trouble is I spend my whole life being overwhelmed by things and then not really achieving anything yeah <laughs> so, yeah it's get, it's, you get stuck you do you do and it's so so difficult to, to to break it down and just look at like right okay we're just have you, are you a friends fan yes you, okay so you know when they're like Chanda's freaking out because he's going he's gonna get married yeah it's like, that, like just put your pants on <laughs> like, like hey. those, it's just yeah. that it? and it's so easy to give someone that advice but when you're looking at the situation you're like oh, I can't do it I can't yeah. do it you preempt and you're sort of anticipating and it's very yeah yeah I reckon you could do it Tamla I reckon you could do it <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day I was maybe. about to say watch this space in three or four years time you'll be there I'm directing now <laughs> yeah yeah no one would give me an acting job anymore <laughs> So talk us through some of your wow moments like that's why I call them you know some of your favorite moments in your career so far like what have been wow moments um I've had a lot of like you know I've been very lucky in the jobs that I've done um and the people that I've worked with um uh the time uh, I can look back on things now and go wow that's amazing mm -hmm. I struggled at the time 
to appreciate it's not appreciates the wrong word I I did appreciate it but I I was very crippled with fear um, uh, when I was sort of in my 20s working in my 20s and I didn't embrace a lot of the work yeah I I just felt very again overwhelmed yeah um so I would I things passed me by a lot and I I look back now and go oh my god you you had three years of working in Prague Mm. with amazing people yeah with on a you know on a great show with great cast and crew and and I spent the majority of the time really sad and fearful and things. But really, that was that was a wow moment to be in Prague and the locations that we got to go to filming were just incredible. And and the costume designers and makeup and every everything was like, wow. And the friends that I've made on that show are like friends for life and that that has been like wow um obviously doing the in-betweeners I mean I was rabbit in the headlights completely yeah I'll look back at that performance in the movie and I'm like oh my god like I just see if you just close my eyes I'm like "Ah." um but do it like going to a premiere and again like wow being in cinema and seeing my big face even bigger do you know what I mean it's like oh. um but just just being like I look back and go just having the chance to work because yeah. a lot of people don't yeah. and they definitely should because they're brilliant but they've just not had the chance or they've opportunity or they weren't in the right place the right time they couldn't get in the room yeah. it's it's that like I have many friends who are brilliant mm. who just haven't had the same opportunity as I I've I have um and it's and it's nothing to do with their talent or anything like that it's it's a funny funny game and yeah um and now like each job I have I really try and sort of drink it all in yeah and look around and appreciate the fact that I'm getting to do what I've chosen to do yeah um but yeah it's take it has taken time <laughs> for yeah, me to do that. it's a crazy world like the, the industry as a whole is very very crazy and people have gone oh god that was that was cool that was really crazy and you're like oh I didn't even because you're just so focused on what you have to achieve and like sometimes I'm very similar I get a bit like oh my god I'm chosen I've been chosen out of all these other people to do this thing I've got to do it justice because there's bound to have been someone else that could have nailed it and and for some reason they've given it to me and if I don't do it properly like everyone's going to be going well god I could have done that do you know what I mean and sometimes it's very easy for somebody particularly like family to look in on it and go well done you like I bet that was the best thing you've ever done and it's just passed you by yeah because it it was just so you know you just like you're con- I feel always like I'm holding my breath and then when it's done I exhale and I'm like right what just happened yeah 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 you know, it, and it, it does take a long time to kind of like adjust to that way of life and that um you know that path that you've you've decided to take because it's not just about acting is it it's not you know that's the easy bit <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is everything else that goes along with it and people always just assume that you're just super super confident person and you're happy to go in there when you do your first read through like I just want to vomit every time like oh, that. that first read through is just horrendous yes. it's like they're gonna sack me they're going to sack me everyone's gonna think I'm rubbish oh my god horrible it is it is and people are like I don't understand I don't get it like why why are you putting yourself through it then if you hate those elements it's like it's because I, and then sometimes you're like actually I don't know no. <laughs> I don't know why yeah, it's, it is like being it's just it's abusive yeah. it really is you're just doing it to the health yeah you are I, 
know I know but it's learning to kind of like appreciate like you say appreciate where you are and what you're doing and kind of like try and tune out of those moments that you just you know giving your heart palpitations yeah <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah appreciate the time and yeah be, it's sort of like sounds a bit hippie but you just sort of do do have to sort of be quite present yeah yeah um, but we all you know people do find that it's difficult yeah <laughs> it's difficult <massive. to> <laughs> really difficult to like recreate a character somebody who's already like you know been and it's like you've got to do that justice and like you don't really like know how they felt whereas if you're given a character that's you know like fictional you're just like oh okay you know I can pretend that I know how that you know yeah. whereas when somebody's then scrutinizing what you're doing compared to a real life person like that's really tough mm. I mean really. I did play somebody um recently uh who uh is a real is a real person um and that was amazing but also like terrifying yeah like really terrifying yeah because you just did you wanted to do them justice and not you didn't want them to watch it I didn't want her to watch it and go huh? don't do that or like I never said that or that yeah. kind of thing I wouldn't react in that way or yeah kind of thing um uh but it was also brilliant to be able to then because I I got to speak to her on the phone and I met her and to get all this sort of background and information yeah. was was lovely which you don't get from a script usually yeah from a tv script and um, yeah. you create that background yourself yeah to try and like like layer up your character if you could play a musical instrument, what do you think you'd want to play? <laughs> um, I, well, I did used to play the piano. Oh, cool. I played the clarinet first, just for like... um Who? Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I didn't play it for very long because uh, I, it was at primary school and uh, they had a clarinet at the school. Yeah. Um, I didn't have my own one. Uh, but then I moved primary schools and the school that I moved to didn't didn't have a clarinet and obviously I couldn't afford like to have my own um so that that stopped but then I played the piano because we had a piano in the house the, the house the, the sorry the piano that's still in my mom's house the piano is older than I am and I'm 32 I mean it it, it doesn't sound the best <laughs> um but again I just wasn't great at it okay um I got to like I think I was on like sort of grade three maybe yeah um and I had lessons up until I left school yeah. um because they were subsidized then um I don't think you would even get that now you don't no. um so that that was good um but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I blame it, the fact that I have tiny hands. It's got oh. nothing to do with the fact that I've got tiny hands. <laughs> but I, that's what I say. Um, but I'm, I'm planning to move, move house. Um, and when I do move house, I'm going to buy a piano. Yes. I'm right. going to have lessons again. Yes. Just started having lessons at the age of 50 what is he seven he's just started having lessons during lockdown oh, amazing oh you should then you can play together oh <laughs> I love that see I'm like so into that my mum played clarinet when she was young so that's hence why I did it then when I was like yeah six seven however old I was when I started and I used to love it I used to love playing I mean I was rubbish but <laughs> you know I used to love playing with her like it would be brilliant you know she'd do all like the the good bits and I'd just like pipe up every now and again <laughs> but I love that that's so cute you should yeah I, re I really want to do that again I can't um uh I'll, I'll probably get um one that maybe you can plug in yeah because of neighbours and stuff um although I, I prefer the the upright ones the grand ones oh yeah lo yeah love a grand piano jesus <laughs> uh, but, 
I was found like with the clarinet, you know, the reeds that yeah. would break so easily and then they're so expensive to replace them and yeah. Yeah. It is I know musical instruments are an expensive hobby. I know, and it's and it's it's really so crap because like you want kids to be learning to play instruments. You do, yeah, yeah, so much. Yeah, I mean, we did. We were the same. They used to loan out like instruments and stuff when we were kids. But I know the children that I teach now. Nah, it's just like you know, you get it for a little while, and then it's like you got to get your own, and that's great if you've got a spare three hundred quid. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Happen, does it? So let's talk about holidays. Where's your favourite places place you've ever visited? Oh, oh. Um, I went to Cuba a couple of years ago. That was pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah that was that was a real like wow. Um, yeah. And um, I really loved New York. Um, I'd love to go to New York. Yeah. Have you never been? No, we were supposed to go in May. Um, did you I get know. your back? Yeah, we did. We did. So it was me, my mum and my godmother. The three of us were all supposed to go. So we were supposed to go for my 21st and then I was at drama school. And then it was like, we'll go for your 25th. And then that kind of passed by. And it was like, we'll just vaguely go like now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now it looks like it will be my 30th. But yeah, it's gutting because we, we were so looking forward to it. But yeah. Right. I can go around Christmas time because that's I mean it's freezing but like to see all the Christmas lights in the in the trees and everything that's pretty magical because Home Alone's like my favorite film oh my god I was just gonna say you're like Home Alone yeah and that's what I did I was like ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's in the film that's in the film yeah um so I really I really liked it there um and I went to uh, Kefalonia a couple of years ago, Greek island. Oh, wow. And that was very cool. Um, and um, where else have I been? I like to go to Devon um, just because it's just lovely and feel like very calm. As soon as you get to the seaside, it's like, ah, yeah. So I like going there. My mum and I go there quite a bit and bring um my dog that's back home betty oh. she likes so yeah i mean lots of places i'm not sure i've got a favorite um but i've been i've been pretty lucky to gone to a few places i would love to go to australia and i've been but again like however many <laughs> put aside a good few grand <laughs> yeah, you have and it takes like over a day to get there so you need to be there for like three weeks don't you so you can just make it absolutely i'm taking my we rescued a dog um just before lockdown actually beginning of march um and she's incredibly nervous and jumpy and um yeah she's asleep now um but we're taking her up to northumberland um when are we going so i've got operation tomorrow Wednesday um and she won't have seen a beach before she was a rescue dog from Thailand and yeah she's come a long way um I don't think she's going to be very impressed to be honest <laughs> I think she's going to poo at her little furry pants yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hmm. so we're going to the beach in North and be piddling down freezing and I really don't think she's going to be that impressed, but we'll try. Oh, bless. What is the most bizarre Amazon purchase you've ever made? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, what have I, I've just had to, I mean, I'm very boring purchase. Uh, a vegetable brush. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> it was a brush. Brush to clean your potatoes with and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking like hair. I was like, yeah, like what is this? Um, no, it was just because in lockdown we decided to order um like a veg box. Okay. It, the place that rescues veg that would be thrown away and stuff. Yeah. But because it's like organic and whatever, it comes 
straight from the ground it hasn't been washed in chlorine and things like it does in the supermarket yeah. um, covered in mud and I was like oh we need to like scrub things so it's vegetable brush that was quite a recent one and um, these lovely things these, oh, I get a lot of them um, dust moths in my flat okay which is minging but I can't do anything about it it's just, it's just one of them. <laughs> um, and uh, we have we have to hang up these like sticky pads that attract them they've oh, got like a pheromone oh. and they get stuck and it's disgusting but it works ordered those <laughs> uh, sticky moth pads um what else have i bought off amazon oh god i need to go through i mean there are some ran there is some random crap on there oh yeah always have you ever done like this is my favorite thing ever so my best friend he's huge he's like six foot six he's a really really big guy and he's got massive feet as you can imagine would be stupid if he didn't and he went on amazon and was like oh my god i found the best buy gen i was like oh have you he's like yeah yeah you know timberland shoes i was like yeah he was like well, there's these shoes okay and they're like a size 13 and of course he's a 13 he was like it's brilliant they're like brand new in the box and there was something stupid kind of like 30 quid okay and i was like what I was like, you need to get on that, like, seriously, you know. And he showed me the picture, and, like, cool. And then when they came, they were like, baby. Yeah, they're that big. I was wetting myself. I was like, brilliant. <laughs> he was like, what am I supposed to do with them? I was like, don't know. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah. plant pots. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. <laughs> Amazon's a great place, though. Like, are you are you a online board shopper? I'm terrible when I'm bored. I just order rubbish no my boyfriend is I think he's got an addiction yeah I'm no I'm quite good with that like oh. no but he he definitely has an issue yeah. so like deli- I'm like what is it hiding stuff from me and things what have you ordered <laughs> yeah some little crappy little bit I mean I just ordered the vegetable brush but it came with these gloves these washing up gloves that have got like little 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 things on them I don't even know what to call them but apparently yeah I know they're they're, they're like weird like yeah I know exactly what they are they're well, like yeah <laughs> you put them on and then you don't need to use you don't need to use them yeah. I mean just awful they got used once and it's like clearly they're going to be crap yeah they are <laughs> sitting up there getting in the way yeah another crap purchase just <sighs> my head there that's so funny well at least you're not like that could you imagine if you both were your house would be like a hoarder's house i know i know i'm just yeah. like rain it in he's got better but yeah it's like he, he, needs-, rain that one? <laughs> yeah, he needs to stop <laughs> mum always says to me like god help whoever you like end up with because it's it's actually like you've got an issue <laughs> when I lived at you in like in well not uni in drama school when I lived in in halls it's like it was awful you know I'd come home with like a rat and people would be like why and I was like I don't know just saw it and I thought it was but then like it's you know 20 years of age like your first time properly living away from home like for any length of time you just get like you've got this money and you've just got to spend it on shit <laughs> yeah it's just yeah I remember when, when we moved when I moved back um yeah my dad was loading up this we had to have a van to take my stuff I mean is that really <laughs> <laughs> one bed like and, and we had a van yeah I remember like the people on reception like what is happening and I'm like oh yeah that's that's my van like who did I think I was like genuinely I just had so much stuff and yeah, my parents were like, what is this? And what is that? Yeah, but things that they bought me to use, like still in the package after a couple of years. Oh, Tamla, I'm so bad. So, and like, I haven't learned. Like, I don't... I th- I'm not very good at um, getting rid of stuff. Mm. I'm like, there's things in my wardrobe that I definitely haven't worn in probably over 10 years. And I'm like, yeah, but it might come in handy for an audition. Yeah, yeah. Will it though? Really? Will it? Or can yeah. you just wear something else? Yeah. yeah. Um, I've got better though. I've got better at not buying stuff and 
become more aware of um like mending clothes like, yeah so I you know I sewed I had two jumpers and they had both had holes in the armpits yeah fat arms and then uh, <laughs> uh, um and but I was like uh I'm just going to sew them I'm just yeah. going to sew them up and they're yeah. fine so yeah. like I've got a lot um a lot more mindful from like, not adding yeah crap and um, but I do I do struggle with throwing things away I'm like oh I might need it and I'm quite sentimental about things um, so I keep birthday cards and everything like yeah yeah I'm exactly the same like I've still got stuff that I've had like for years and, and people are like what even is that you can't even like read the writing anymore and I'm like I know who it's from I know who it's from just get rid of it like I'm that person at Christmas like you know when you get gifts and I'm I love the wrapping paper so I like to save a little bit of it yeah people are like, do that are you gonna reuse that and I'm like no but it's my favorite bit and I remember who I like writing it who but and they're like oh okay, I'm not that bad okay I'm not that bad I do it I do it to recycle it like an absolute <laughs> nana like, I'll use that again <laughs> that's good now people encourage that now yeah exactly like you're very with the times you know yeah that's what I like to think <laughs> that's hilarious so if there was one person in the world you'd love to meet past present who do you reckon it would be who would you like a good chin wag with Ooh. Robin Williams would be someone pretty cool yeah definitely um also maybe like Alan Rickman oh my god stop it he is number one yeah yeah I, I loved him I could listen to his voice like all day yeah but it's so distinctive yeah he is um yeah I think they'd be pretty cool I mean that's what I, I'm sure once we come off this conversation I'll go oh that thing that would have been someone good to say oh yeah always but, yeah. um yeah I think that would be yeah yeah I'm gonna go with that so this is a quick fire round now just whatever comes to, to your mind okay oh god you tell that I, I will be awful at this. Fine, you're fine. Uh, um, <laughs> fine. Nothing can fire about me at all. Okay, it's it's nothing really that you need to think that too too deeply about. You're okay. So space or a desert island? God. I mean space, but not the whole rocket travel. If I could just be in space okay without having to go through the trauma of being in a rocket yeah space because I just think I, I it's too hard for me to say <laughs> so, a starter or a pudding pudding good girl <laughs> a woodland <laughs> walk or a beach walk say a what walk a woodland walk so in the woods or yeah. beach beach cinema or theater theater Car or train? I prefer a car if I'm not driving it. Yeah. Um, trains are usually quicker. Mm -hmm. Car. Vacation or staycation? What's the difference? So vacation is when you go away and staycation is when you stay where you are but you don't have work. Oh, vacation. Yeah, you don't want to stay at home, do you? No, if you if, if you can go on holiday, go on holiday. Yeah. An action film or a comedy? Comedy. Summer or winter? Winter. TV or book? I do like a good book, but it takes me ages to read. Um. I get distracted very easily. TV. Oh, I hate saying that. Pop songs or rock songs? Rock songs. A cat or a dog? Dog. Birthday or Christmas? Christmas, definitely. Pink or purple? Ooh. Ooh. Pink, I think. A handbag or a backpack? 
that pack is just easier for me and my and my ailments <laughs> disney film or marvel disney and a gift or an experience what would you rather somebody gave you something pretty or you went and did something together oh i always want to go and do things yeah. perfect and my last question for you is don't mind if you can't answer it what's next um do you mean work wise or do you mean life either both oh well i don't unfortunately i don't have anything lined up work wise but i think um i don't think i'm alone in that i think oh, no. if you've got something coming up acting wise you're very very lucky right yeah. now um but things are starting to happen again i think yeah. um unfortunately not for theatre though which is just devastating um and then life wise i'm having to move move um house I'm, ha well, I'm having to move back home for a while um which is <sighs> sad um but uh, I just can't I can't afford my mortgage because of life happening so um yeah so that's big big things happening over the next few weeks um but it it'll be all right it'll be all right in the end it will be <laughs> I, I'm back home too Pardon? I've moved back home too. Yeah. 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 Uh, cool. yeah. Uh, just got to roll with it, right? Yeah. And just know that it isn't forever. No. Um, but yeah, it's just... Well, lots happened very quickly and... Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. sad. Um, it'll be all right. Yeah. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll be grand in the long run. That's what we got to look at. Yeah, yeah yeah definitely definitely hang on in there yeah and it's like the little steps isn't it you know sometimes you like look at it and you're like oh I've gone backwards and that was my real like worry I was like no and like you know it's awful to say like you compare yourself but I do I can't help it I'm like all oh, my friends are doing this and doing that and you know so and so is getting married and so and so is like got a baby and so and I'm just like and now I'm here <laughs> but yeah we, we all do things differently and at different times in the different you know like yeah it's it's just everyone somebody said something really cool to me the other day and I was like yes I'm gonna take that one she said um everybody has their own book but we all start at different chapters and I was like yes <laughs> oh I'm rolling with that one because yeah I <laughs> I was just we were t I was just talking to her just in general and I was just like Ugh. and she was like no 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 Jen no <laughs> don't get stressed about it because I'm terrible I'm such a stress head yes I'm with you there oh such <laughs> right with you there oh and it's yeah. so difficult isn't it like trying to juggle everything and like you know you have to try and be a swan like you have to look like but underneath you're like this whereas like I think <laughs> I'm just like this all the time anyway <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it elegantly I don't think I haven't mastered no, that I'm, one. I'm, not very good. I'm not very good at that I'm sort of a bit like a, if a, a tornado sometimes yeah yeah I'm in mean, that kind of energy <laughs> or like, the opposite or I'm just like yeah yeah, yeah like it's difficult isn't it when things get on top of you and you're just like well I need my way out but you know it's always like it's always really nice when you speak to people and like that they're like it's cool like you'll get there you know I was there six months ago or that was me three years ago or like I'm going through that too like that's always really nice when you're just like it's not just me I'm not just a mad woman <laughs> no, no you're not <laughs> well I, I think I am but you know <laughs> well thank you so much for chatting with me thank you no it's been lovely just um, new, new people right <laughs> yeah yeah definitely well yeah take care of yourself i'll send send you the link when it goes up anyway and it was lovely lovely to speak to you and you jen take care of yourself thank you bye, bye. 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 thank you so much tamla for giving up your time to chat with me today I had such a brilliant time and fingers crossed and best of luck for everything that the future holds for you
And to you guys at home watching, thanks for still watching. Really appreciate all your lovely comments. I've had some really, really great comments about the channel and when people say, this made my day, this made me smile, that's, that's the main reason why we're doing it. So thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.